even though these days are still really nice outside, I'm noticing there's a little bit of an autumn nip in the air. So I'm gonna put my overalls on just so I can get a bit warmer. That's better. I think I'm gonna end up taking this off later anyway when I get out into the sun. But for now, in here, let's go. God, this place is a tip. First job, let's just get everywhere cleaned up first, eh? And then pull that out, clean all this stuff out, and I've got somewhere decent to work. It seems to have accumulated a lot of stuff since coming back from the trip, and with work and one thing and another, I've not had a chance to sort it out. You are not junk. No, you're wanted around here. I'm not the best at keeping on top of that kind of thing. So look, I've still got these Britain's Toys from when we did the Britain's Toys video, and that was months ago. So I want to bring the truck in. I'm going to do a service on my truck, so I need some room. Let's clear all this out. Yes, already a bit too hot. Um, if you want to get yourself a Dirt and Diesel hoodie, I mean, I think they're pretty cool. You can get them on the Farmers Channel website. That's thefarmerschannel.com. And you can pick up a hoodie or a t-shirt, or if you prefer, don't get anything at all because whatever but i've had this one for a couple of years now and they're pretty good uh there's some other merch on there from farmer phil uh there's my merch on there silage spec there's some others coming up if you want to get yourself a hoodie head over to thefarmerschannel.com now and get yours to be honest i just wanted to do that thing at the beginning because everyone on instagram seems to be doing it and i wanted to go so that was my attempt That's the old cab filter from my tractor. I think there's some life left in that, yes, I'll keep that. Shh, don't tell your mum, don't tell your mum. <laughs> <laughs> it's a start at least. Now I'm gonna bring the truck in now. Fifteen hundred. That's not too bad. Mm. Mm. You were licking your bum before. Why, whenever I'm under a vehicle, you always have to come under and help me. And I don't need your help because I can't see. That's better. You'll come back. And that's why you wear gloves for this bit. It always gets you. I love how they make the oil filter for this thing really accessible right down there in the guts of the engine bay. It's a good job I've got one of these to get down in there. Clumpy, clumpy. Let's see what we've got in the kit. Diesel filter, that'll go in last. Oil filter. Yeah. And this by far is the worst one I've ever done. The oil filters all the way down there. They may as well put it in bloody Africa. There's a little spring on here that doesn't go on here. And guess what it's just done? Pew! I don't have another one. I have no idea where it's gone. Why do they make things so difficult? I have no idea where it is and I bet you it's in there. Ah. Okay, so it's not in there. Glove off. Guess where it is? There it is. Well, that's just luck. Come on. Okay, you can use sump plug. And I do recommend if you can, spend the 20 pence and get the new seal. Often I've done these. And a couple of days later, you see it dripping. It's because that little copper washer is probably damaged on the old one, so it's worth it. And now it's time to use the really high-tech oil transfer device. Yeah, I'm good at that. What's next? Air filter. Let's do it. Done. 
you relax there, Rupert. You're all sprawled out. Yeah. Oh my God, when was this last changed? This is the cabin filter. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That's not my fault, guys. I've only had this truck about eight to nine months. And I dare say, that's never been changed. Brilliant. That's supposed to be the air conditioning filter. Let's see what the other one's like. Yeah, looks like it's just as bad as the other one. I mean, you're supposed to go careful with that so you don't drop any in the thing, but there's no way I'll be not dropping any. It looks like someone's been living in there. That's supposed to be clean. Ugh. Come on, previous guy who owned this. Come on. I have new ones to go in anyway. Look at that. That has never been changed in the entire life of this truck which is 10 years old now i'd say they they've just it's like non-essential to the engine so i suppose they've just thought well it's non-essential then look at that we're breathing that in <laughs> me and you holly <laughs> disgusting done He's never normal. <laughs> Is it on? Right, that's that job jobbed. Uh, hang on a minute. Yes, that's better. That's it, done today. A uh, couple of things I want to update you. A few of you have been asking about where the 500 mile videos are. They're coming. It's just there's a lot of videos to get through. So uh, I'm piecing them together and hopefully they'll be coming out next Sunday. I don't know what the date is, but the date today is the 19th. So it's the Sunday after the 9th, September 19th, the week after, you know what I'm saying. And yeah, so that is coming. There's a bunch of other stuff. I've been super, super busy filming stuff, but I've not had much chance to edit stuff, so that's where we're at. There's one thing I want to talk about, and it's kind of a, it's a topical subject. We're seeing more and more on Facebook, on social media, about things being stolen, whether that be uh, tractors, uh, gates, trailers, that kind of stuff. And because we're so exposed to social media, we're seeing more and more of it. Now, one thing that I've got here, to try and prevent that is something called Trailark. Now, this is a product that's made by somebody I know, and it's a very well put together piece of kit, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Trailark will lock your trailer. So how it works is it goes into the towing eye of your trailer, you put the lock on, it's, that lock is still in the packaging, but you'll put the lock on the bottom there, and it becomes virtually impossible to steal, or at least without making a bit of a fuss and you, you know, being able to hear it. So that's Treylock. I'm gonna go give it a try now. Let's head out to the field. So the idea of Treylock is you unlock it, you take it over to your trailer, which isn't here. Uh, it appears that it's been stolen, so all I'm left with is this. Uh, yeah, should have bought this sooner, shouldn't I? Yep, tray lock. It's no good if your trailer's been stolen. Oh, Buy tray lock now before your trailer gets nicked. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and share button. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me because I would appreciate it and I'm, I'm not a massive channel. I know I'm not a massive channel, there are bigger ones out there, but I like to do good content, I like to do content that I think you would like. So, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.